Well, you guys certainly don't need me to tell you this, but we are in a rotten pattern for Memorial Day weekend. It feels like April out there. We got clouds, we got periodic showers, but I, I guess the good news is you'll still be able to kind of recover from this. You'll squeeze in your backyard barbecues and the pool parties and whatnot. Might be a little bit chilly, but by Monday, we're looking at partly sunny skies, warmer temperatures in the 70s at least, so more near normal. And then we're just gonna continue to go. The week ahead is looking much warmer. Our outlook into the end of the week, we'll probably see temperatures getting back into the 80s. Once the storm we're dealing with over the weekend departs, you have some small shower chances, but nothing substantial. We will have picked up between the thunderstorms on Friday night and, or, or Thursday night rather, uh, and the storm that we've been dealing with, probably near three inches of rain for some of us. So. We don't need any more after this, that's for sure. Your seven day outlook is gonna show you those warmer temperatures getting back into the 80s, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. For Jersey Matters, I'm meteorologist Nor'easter. Welcome back, I'm Larry Menti and rejoice. It is finally summer season at the Jersey Shore. Waited for this for a long time, haven't we? Even though our Kimberly Kravitz says not everything's going to look the same this season. Kimberly. Hi, it's great to be back here at the Jersey Shore and we've just attended the annual kickoff to summer event where officials tell us that they have one goal in mind and that's to get back to a normal summer here at the Jersey Shore. Hey, we're moving forward. All right, this is a forward season. And, you know, I could talk about the numbers. I could talk about the challenges last year and there were. Okay, we overcame them. Let's move forward to this year, 2021. But with all things considered, a normal summer may not exist. Moving forward full capacity at the Jersey Shore with minimal laborers was one topic of conversation, a struggle that many restaurant owners are dealing with right now. It's, it's insane. I mean, I, you know, to go through Sandy, to go through the pandemic was tough, but going through this is even harder. It's like 11,000, almost 11,000 in Ocean County. Uh, that are available jobs on Indeed. And Leon says there's an additional 40,000 jobs up on Indeed in Monmouth County. Yeah, people are on vacation. They want to be on the beach and not waiting online for sandwiches and not waiting online and having two hour waits in restaurants and then waiting 45 minutes at the table to get their dinner. I, it's, uh, it's hard. I mean, uh, what are you going to do? Well, this has always been a tough time of year. We compete with the nice outside jobs like lifeguarding or jobs like landscaping and stuff like that. But people are making big money. All the restaurants are desperate, so they're offering people more and more money. I mean, lifeguards, on the other hand, we will see no shortage of this summer season. I think uh, in speaking with uh, some of the mayors and uh, in particular the police chiefs, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the guards have, have come back. You know, last year we were dealing with limited capacity with our beaches and, and our beach badges. Uh, this year it looks like it's going to be full full on and uh, we're prepared. A Jersey Shore summer at full capacity means parking will be a drag, but Asbury Park has a plan to get around more easily with a new e-scooter program launched by Link. Well, I would definitely use them. Fourth of July, for example, takes like 30 minutes. If you're right here, it takes 40 minutes just to get up here. Like you can just hop on one of those things and go get there in like five minutes and free parking. But if you plan to spend a week down the Jersey Shore this summer, you'll be in for a rude awakening. Lack of inventory, biggest problem. A lot of people have been looking since February and booking homes for rent for the, you know, for the summer. Not just the summer, um, but they've been actually renting down here in the Jersey Shore all year. The trend is that Jersey Shore rental properties booked as fast as COVID-19 restrictions eased. So people used to have a lot of different options with flying. And so now people are still scared to fly. So they're going to look for somewhere where they can drive. And again, they've been cooped up in the house. So the best advice when planning a week down the shore. Well, you want to go with what we call off season off. I mean, or off peak, you know, time. So during the week, maybe try and do a Tuesday through Thursday or you know, Monday through, you know, Friday, you know, something like that. The weekends are tough. But any, most of the rentals are weekly rentals, which are your Saturday to Saturday, what they call the turnover. Uh, a lot of those, they're, they're already booked. So although there will be some factors to get used to while down the shore this summer, Sheriff Golden's mantra is safety first. We want a safe summer season. Uh, that's our goal here in Monmouth County. While you're down the shore this Memorial Day weekend, you can even get your shots. There'll be vaccines available at your Asbury Park Boardwalk, Pier Village, and Sandy Hook. Reporting from Avon, 
Gone by the Sea for Jersey Matters. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. All right, thank you, Kimberly. And as you enjoy this Memorial Day weekend, please just take a couple of moments to remember those who fought and died so we could be free. My commentary is next.